Hey guys, we are here waiting for our flight to Coron. Uh, this trip has really been like a year and a half in the making. We were booked to go to Coron to the houseboat like a year ago, and then COVID hit and it got canceled, but we still wanted to go. So we're like, all right, we're gonna just keep the credit and we're gonna end up going. And thankfully, today's that day. long delay but we're here and we are excited. Very important to always wash your hands. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, is this us? Yeah. Sheesh. Sheesh. Big sheesh in the big van. Made it headed to Corona. Let's do it. Uh, I love corn. I don't think that's what it says. Oh. To go back to the yeah. 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 Oh, the cat. Even the <gasps> oh there. my gosh, there's Aww. a cat. Made it. Yeah. Oh my. Hey guys, day two here in Coron. Just got up, uh, but we're headed out now on the speedboat bright and early, and we're excited to see the sights. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we are climbing up 367 Seven. steps up to Kayangan Lake. It's not that difficult of a trek, it's just very high. So, as you can hear, I'm panting. Wow, you guys, look at this view. I can't stop panting, I'm so tired. It's breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> Look how clear the water is, you guys. You can literally see all the rocks. Yeah, it's beautiful here. And the best part is since we got here early, there's literally two other people here. So we have the whole place basically to enjoy to ourselves. Three, go! go. Is All right, guys, we are leaving now. It was so beautiful here. What's the lake called again? Kayangan. Kayangan Lake. And now we are off to Barracuda Lake. I'm really excited. How much? How much for a coconut? 50 pesos is way too much. 20? <laughs> okay, I'll take my business elsewhere. What's this entrance? Ooh. This is crazy. You, Hello. You guys find any barracudas yet? Barracuda Lake complete. And I'm sure you saw uh, the excellent free diving. That was definitely me. I was definitely <laughs> the one doing that. What did, what did we think of Barracuda Lake? Amazing. Didn't see any barracudas though, but. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe next time. <laughs> Got 
gotta go with the good old red horse. Yay, thank you. Cheers. Okay, you guys, so I unfortunately did not capture it, but Troy just flew his first drone. Um, our fellow travel mates have a drone and he tried it, and I think now Troy wants a drone. We're testing the limits as well. The, the drone is pretty far out, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> But it's super cool. Let's see what they're doing over here. We are at 92 now. It's okay, leave it and don't go around. You can do no, it. I'm going for 100 something. Yo, you can't even see it anymore. <laughs> if we can actually make it, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing sounds scarier than when the battery's dying and then you have to get it back. <laughs> I need to get it back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, the battery's dying. <laughs> <laughs> what to do, what to do? <laughs> Yay! Good job! Of course. He wants it. I need it. <laughs> Please subscribe so we can get a drone. <laughs> Okay, back to lunch now. We have race 1000. 1000, winner takes all. <laughs> 1000! Oh, hi there. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So we actually just took a little break from lunch because we wanted to show you guys our super cool room on the main houseboat. As you can see, we have our own deck and we actually have a private entrance that we can lock from the inside. So complete privacy. And here is the bedroom. It is so cozy, love it. It has a bed good for two and another bed there if you guys are three. And it has a bunch of fans and it keeps it really cool at night. But that's not a problem because you can also just open the sliding windows at night or while you nap during the day. And it is just so breezy and absolutely amazing. <laughs> and the most interesting part of this whole stay is that we have a fully functioning bathroom. So we have a sink here, a shower with hot water here, but the main star is this water toilet and I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. So basically you just put this little lever to the left and it fills up with water and then once you think it's at a good amount, you kind of do your business and then when you're done, you just pump it to flush and no water goes to waste so it's super environmentally friendly but honestly that's not even the best part of the boat let me take you to our favorite spot let's go upstairs wow let me grab this what do you think this is it this is the roof right here it's beautiful it's a good vibe up here and you can just look at the view it's amazing around here it is stunning we haven't gotten to fully enjoy all of this yet but we'll, we'll do that tomorrow. So we'll make sure to show you guys uh, all the fun stuff you can do just right around here. That's the great thing about staying in the house houseboat is we literally, we don't have to go every, anywhere. Everything is here. It's Santa's elves coming to bring presents. <laughs> hey guys. So we are now here at part two of our day tour. It is the afternoon and we are going snorkeling to see the skeleton shipwreck. So we're gonna go down and see a hundred year old shipwreck. We're gonna find the treasure. So we're gonna try to go see what we can find down there. guys so it is 
sunset now. It is absolutely amazing. We've been here on this beach for around two hours. We were looking for sea turtles before this, but absolutely beautiful end to the day. And it is actually Christmas Eve today, so Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Can't ask for much more than a beautiful sunset. And it is just insane. This camera does not give it justice, but look at that. Day three, our final day on the houseboat, started off with an amazing breakfast delivered to our upgraded room via boat. Our new room had its own office and living room where you could work, an upstairs floor with a few extra beds perfect for groups and families, and great spots to chill, relax, and eat meals, and you literally had the ocean and fish at the foot of your bed. When she says she's home alone but you have no boat, Since it was our last day in Koron, we mostly stayed adventure. around the houseboat and paddleboarded and just enjoyed the lagoon. We Please even kayaked to the twin lagoons, which was like 15 minutes away and is usually part of a whole boat tour if you're not staying in the lagoon. So that was surreal and absolutely amazing. The day was so perfect, the sun was out, the water was so clear, and it was it was really sad to say goodbye because it probably is one of the most beautiful places we've ever been to. Bye, Bye Paulin Houseboat! Thank you guys for everything. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Peace! Bye.